Chat on the UK Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator and today I'm making um, a card using the Magical Mermaid. Um, it's a few techniques in here and so let's just start. So I'm actually using um, a DL size card here and I've got Balmy Blue and I've got some glossy cardstock. So the glossy cardstock, this was Stamping Ups but they don't do it anymore so you can get it from other places and I'm not starting with that so let's bring in my Stamparada so I have thick whisper white I've got my mermaid positioned we're going to be fussy cutting her out afterwards so it as long as it's in your piece of paper I'm using memento tuxedo black I'm just going to put that down needs just a little bit more on her tail and her hair Okay, I've just put my mermaid aside to dry and I'm going to start working on my balmy blue. Now this is um, 8 inches by 3 and 5 eighths of an inch and I'm going to be using the seaweed stamp with the balmy blue. So I'm just actually stamping along the bottom of the cardstock and it's just going to be a little bit of decoration. We are actually going to be sticking on top things on top of this so there we go simple as that and we put that to one side now I've brought in some of my blends and I'm going to colour my mermaid in um, I'm not going to make you watch as per usual but basically I'm doing very simple colouring so I'm using um, ivory to just colour in the skin and then the tail I'm doing it lots of different colours but they're mainly blues and I'm using the balmy blue because we've got the balmy blue background. So if you were thinking of using a different colour background, then just change the colour of your mermaid's tail. I'm using the um, light Knight of Navy at the top and some of the sides, just for a little bit of shad shading. And then this is the um, light Bermuda Bay. So I've just re very quickly and roughly coloured my towel in. Um, I've not done loads of blending, but I'm actually going to be covering this in glitter, the towel. So um, you don't need to go crazy with your blending, but the body and the hair you are going to see. So take more care when you're doing that, the top half of your mermaid. So now I'm getting ready to do my mermaid's towel. So I've got my um, embossing buddy. I couldn't remember what it was called then. I'm just going to go all over my mermaid. And then I've got a Versamark pen here, and I've also got a, some Versamark refill. And I'm going to stick some of my refill onto my onto a block, just a little bit, because my Versamark pen, this is quite old, and it hasn't got any Versamark left in it, so I just dip it in. So I ju just dip in, and then I'm going to go over all of my mermaid's tail. You can see where you've been because it goes shiny. So now I've completely covered my towel in Versamark and this is a bonding agent. You can't get this from Stamping Up. So this will be the second item that you can't get from Stamping Up. But you might already have it in your stash and there you go. Hopefully you can see it. It's just covered it in a powder. Okay, I am now going to use my um, heat tool and I'm going to heat up the towel. As you can see, it goes shiny very quickly. And then I'm bringing in, this is my Stamping Up Dazzling Diamonds glitter. I'm going to sprinkle that over the towel. So the bonding agent actually makes it sticky. So there you can see all the, you see how lovely that is. And now we need to use our heat gun on it again and that will seal it. And when your towel is completely dry, you can brush all the excess um, glitter from the side and we are actually going to fussy cut the mermaid out now so just using our scissors or our snips we're just going to cut all the way around and fussy cut that out and so there's my finished mermaid how cute is that and we're actually going to put dimensionals on the back of that so when we put it on our card it's going to be popped up so I'm going to be bringing in my uh, glossy paper here 
and something to protect my toe. Now this is, my glossy paper is two and a quarter by six and a half. And we're going to do some stamping. So I'm just gonna run over with my embossing buddy, just lightly, and have a seaweed again. And this time we're gonna be using Versamark. And ink, ink it up, and then we're going to stamp our seaweed along the bottom of our paper. Now when you're stamping on glossy paper, you need to be careful that it doesn't move because it is obviously a bit shiny and a bit slippery. Okay. And I know you can't see that, but I can just see it. And now I'm gonna be doing a bit of blending. So I've just realised that I was actually my camera was a little bit too tight when I was stamping, so you might not have you might not have seen that very well. Sorry about that. Can't do it again because this is my last piece of glossy paper. So I'm going to be using um, the balmy blue. And I'm actually going to push one of my blocks in so I don't damage my actual ink. And I'm just using the sponge here, so I'm Dipping it in and then swiping across with my sponge. And then we're just going to be building the colour up. So I want um, the top of my paper to be light and it's going to come down. So I'm now using Bermuda Bay. I'm going to do exactly the same. And this time I'm going to go in the middle. And you can see that where we've done air. Versamark, you can just see sort of like a ghost of an image underneath. Can you see that? That looks so good. And then you're just going to keep putting on as much as you want. It's really a personal preference, what you want. And then just keep blending and swiping. And then I'm finishing off at the bottom with my Knight of Navy. So I've now finished my glossy paper. How lovely is that? I really love the effect of the Versamark um, leaves on there, sort of like really under the sea. And um, that's, this is gonna go on a piece of Whisper White, and this is cut to two and five eighths by six and seven eighths. And then I've got some die cuts that I've already cut out ready. These ones are all from Under the Sea. These, the fish are from, sorry, the fish are from um, Catch of the Day. and. These ones are from the new Smooth Sailing. And uh, we're gonna start putting this card together. So I've put all my layers together, and this is just so I can see where my elements are gonna be on the card. So I've cut my fishing net in half, and I want it to be on each corner, but I wanna make sure that it doesn't go over the edge of the card. I'm just using some tear and tape to just stick my fishing net on. So just make sure you've got your tear and tape where you can't see it, so don't put it on that little edge. And then that will keep that all secure and you don't get in a real mess trying to stick it, stick it down. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this piece. So I've added um, dimensionals and I've also used, I've just used the edges a lot on this piece and I've taken the backing off. And I'm just going to stick this onto the base. I'm just double checking to make sure that my um, fishing net's okay. But I mean, you can actually easily snip this off if you need to. And so now I'm going to start building my picture up. I'm going to bring my seaweed in. So on my seaweed, I've stuck both pieces together with a little bit of tear and tape that's going to go at the bottom here. And you're not going to see it because I'm going to be putting um, my little sea urchin in front of that. So you won't see it. I've stuck most of my major pieces on here now, so I've used um, I've used a Tombow to stick these on. And when I'm sticking on the vellum, don't put the glue on the vellum, just put it on the glitter cardstock. It is quite tricky to stick to um, the glossy card paper, so you just need to keep pushing it down and maybe wait just a little bit longer for it to dry than normal. And now I'm going to add my mermaid, and I want my mermaid to go about 
here, so she's going to be in the middle with her tail over the seaweed. Okay, and then this is going to be stuck onto here. This would look. This would have looked nice with um, a darker background as well. So maybe a um, Bermuda Bay would have looked good. And then we're just going to stick this onto the front of our card base. So I just added a little starfish there, and I'm going to show you one that I made before. Both very similar, although on this one, the background I use Pacific Point in the middle, pool party at the top, and Knight of Navy down the bottom. So otherwise, they're pretty similar. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you go to my um, description down below, you'll be able to see a better link to my blog post and find out all the products I used. So thanks for watching. Bye.